Welcome to Tazumi Online Mathematics. We are continuing the tuition on vectors, episode 3. Now, in the last video, we talked about component vectors. So, a component of a vector is represented in this form, where the A is measured along the X axis and the B is measured along the Y axis. Now, we want to see the diagram being changed from A to B, B to C. If you are asked to find a resultant vector from the previous knowledge, a resultant vector is the direct movement from A to B. A, sorry, A to C, then the displacement from A to B and B to C. So we have A, B vector plus B, C vector. So that's what we call the resultant vectors. Now, if you want to change the position of A, if you want to change the position of A to become O, we know the Cartesian plane meets at the center. So this center is the origin. So we want to use the center as origin. So if you are using here as origin, it means the position of A becomes O. So here I'll be having vector OC equals to vector OB plus vector B, C. So we are just changing the, the position of A with what? O. Now, if this is what we have, now we can see that this is from the origin to C. So from the origin to C. From the origin to B. So we want to know the magnitude of B, C. We want to find the magnitude of B, C since we are having from the origin. Now, if I want to make B, C the subject, it becomes vector B, C, which is being maintained at the right, sending O, B towards this. So, we are going to have vector O, C minus vector O, B. That is just making the B, C the subject. If that is the case, we can see that this becomes what you call a position vector. If you ask to find the position vector of BC, the position vector of BC is just the end point. That is the, the end point, which is OC. You know, this is the initial point, this is the, the end point, the beginning and the end. So the position vector, that is the distance from C from the origin. The distance of C from the origin minus the distance of B. From the origin, if I'm looking for this, it's going to be the distance from the origin to C minus the distance from the origin to B. That we call a position vector. So a position vector. So for example. If I ask to express the vector A, B in terms of a position vector, since we are saying that it is the, the distance from the end point, the distance of the end point from the origin minus the distance of the beginning, the initial point. So this is going to be O, B as a vector minus O, A. In the same vein, if I have vector X, Y, if I'm asked to find that, the vector x, y is going to be just the end point, the distance of the end point from the origin. So, O, y, then the distance of x from the origin, we have for O, x. This is what we call 